Well, hello there, everybody. This is Agrippa Maxenius, and I'm going to be doing a pretty cool sovereignty stream here uh, for Slytherin LTD. And I think what I'm going to try to do, guys, I'm, I'm looking at all the factions in the game, right? And I really want to get started with a faction that has a culture, a rich culture. And I'm not talking about elves, dwarves, humans. I mean, this is all the stuff we see in the fantasy movies of today and the fantasy games of today. And we don't ever focus on the deeper, darker side of fantasy. And I think I'm going to go ahead, guys, and I'm going to mess with the Orcs of Kazoth. These guys are considered the bloodiest faction in the game um, in terms of just bloodshed, annihilation, combat mechanics, um, and although as you guys can see this is not going to be easy, I don't for a second think that I'm going to win, um, I'm still going to try it anyway, and as you can see they say here on the right, some say the meek will inherit the world, we say only the strong survive, we will pit the strong against the meek and see which one of us is right. Seems pretty pretty cool. Um, and of course, in this case with Kazoth, you guys see this bloody hand. This represents Kazoth's grab for power. Um, and we are going to go ahead and take the Kazoth or Die campaign, which is destroy at least five capitals and have at least two named battlefields as the victor. Uh, very unlikely that we'll get through this in this entire stream. Even more unlikely that I'll actually make it through, but I'm going to do my best anyway. Um, so let's go ahead and get started here. I'm going to go ahead and get start playing with Kazoth. Um, as you guys know, Kazoth is an evil faction, so not exactly the friendliest when it comes to diplomacy. And another thing to keep in mind is we don't really care about trade and diplomacy all that much. We're really more concerned with just slaughtering the enemy. By night fires dot the Black Hills, and the air is rank with sweat and stink. War chants echo down the slopes, and the surrounding lands brace for another raid. Kazoth is the domain of elite orcs who do not believe in overwhelming their foes with superior numbers. Instead, they quickly kill off the weak among themselves, for only the strongest and bravest are deemed fit to live. And over the centuries, a new breed of orc has arisen in Kazoth, stronger, larger, and far more terrifying. So there we go, guys. That's the explanation here for Kazoth. Um, I'm going to leave the tips on, just in case some of you guys have not played the game and are kind of interested in seeing you know, different suggestions for getting better, this sort of thing. Um, and I think right away, looking at Kazoth, you guys can see how tiny Kazoth is here. I'm going to go ahead and first start recruiting. So we're going to go ahead and start purchasing units. And as you can see, these Blood Orcs, I love these guys. Um, we're going to go ahead and select them here. They've got a Berserker ability, and they're just absolutely ferocious in battle. Um, as for the Zeruk Battle Orcs, I guess you could consider these almost the equivalent of orc militia but they're still better than most militia units i've encountered in other factions so right now we're basically we're, we're spending all of our money on an army right now we're just going to wait and we're going to build up one of these armies so let's go ahead and end our turn Oh, the Beruvians! Oh, there's no way we're going to let these guys get to us. And I want to tell you right now, I already know what I want to take. And that's going to be Crag and Waste to the North. And the reason is they have stone. And I want stone for make stronger warriors. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go to Crag and Waste. We're going to take their stone uh, and make it, obviously, Orcish territory. Uh, but that's going to take some time. We're not just going to jump right into battle. So as you can see here in the Vestwa capital, I don't really care. There was some sort of Harvest Fair celebrated. That's very nice for you. Hopefully we can come and crash your party uh, sometime soon here. But let's go ahead. We're going to continue ending our turn. I'll try to upgrade our economy if we can. But like I told you before, um, the orcs are not exactly masters of the economy, to say the least. Um, I will also move... Ooh, didn't mean to do that. I'm going to go ahead and move this army over here. Um, because I'm going to be moving directly into Wagon Fort for my first attack. I also know that there is, uh, as you guys can see here, an army, a Crag and Waste army in uh, Wagon Fort. So we're going to have to be very careful about that. And I definitely want to increase the amount of units in this particular army here. So let's go ahead and end our turn. Okay, guys, a hero wishes to rally to our banner. I, I like this guy, a battle mage. Um, choose one unit your enemy controls. The unit takes 35 war damage. Kind of one of the more boring generals, I would say, but I'm going to hire him. I mean, it works. Uh, we'll go ahead and drop him here, and we can deploy our hero. We've already done that. Now we're going to deploy the units that we just built. So we've got two battle orcs uh, that we can... Uh, drop here, but I'm really waiting for those Zarek battle orcs uh, before we decide to attack Crag and Waste. We're not going to be making any moves otherwise. Um, and part of me wants to actually combine these two armies, which I may do. Uh, in fact, let's do it. Let's be crazy. 
Um, and we're going to go ahead, end our turn once again. And at some point here, guys, we will be charging into Kraken Waste. And I'm actually really scared because I'm looking over here. And, I, by the way, the Iron Barony. Oh, gosh, don't get me started. These are basically the orcs that are on the... They're very close to us on the map. But you have to understand, we're Kazoth orcs. We are not Iron Barony orcs. We consider these orcs to more or less be our lesser, uh, a lesser race to us. And I really don't know if I want to accept non-aggression. But seeing as right now, all I want to do is basically just slaughter me some Kragans, uh, Kragan wasters, whatever you want to call them. I'm going to go ahead and accept the count, uh, accept the trade for non-aggression, um, just so that he doesn't come to uh, Kragan Waste 8, although I've never seen the orcs come to a human's 8, so I doubt that that's going to occur. Um, and as you can see right here, one thing that I was really worried about um, is the fact that Kragan Waste has a n nicely, nicely sized army over here. It's, it doesn't look friendly in the slightest. Um, so we're going to go ahead and end our turn. And I probably should have added the general to this army I have here because I've got a lot of interesting units in it. Whereas this one on the left is a little more boring, but it makes no difference. We're going to go ahead, uh, we're going to deploy our Zerok Battle Orcs over here into this army, and we may go ahead and start attacking Kragan Waste, guys. I'm actually going to wait one more turn, uh, and I'll see if we can upgrade our economy. If not, I'm going to get some more Blood Orcs, as well as some more Zerok Battle Orcs. Now see, these Rock Trolls, these are what I really want, but we need two stone to raise these armies. We could trade for stone, but like I told you before, we're not going to trade, we're Orcs. Trade is for sissies. We just we want to just kill the enemy. It's that simple. Um, so let's just go ahead. We're gonna end there, and uh, I will end the turn once again. And like I said, I'm really just trying to build up these armies so that they're extremely powerful, um, and that there's nobody that can stand in my way. Because once I go into Crag and Waste, I don't know what's gonna happen. They may be joined by Senev. They may be joined by Dunmar. I really am not sure. So we have to be careful. Well, let's just take a quick look here at our army. I really just want to send them into battle now, and I'm trying to think. Uh, let's see. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What to do? What to do? All right. Um, let's move into Zerokel, and uh, next turn we'll go ahead, drop some more guys into the army, and consider attacking. Uh, as you guys can see, I'm being very, very, very cautious, and I shouldn't be because I'm an orc. Come on. Um. Also, for those of you guys typing down in the chat, <clears throat> just want to let you guys know that I cannot actually see the chat because I don't have a double monitor, which really sucks. Um, I tried to actually download the Twitch app onto my iPhone, and apparently there's some sort of issue which doesn't let me do it. Uh, so I just want to say real quick, for those of you that want to take a look at my strategy channel, uh, make sure to take a look at Agrippa Maxenius on YouTube. That is A-G-R-I-P-P-A -P -P -A space... M-A-X-E-N-T-I-U-S, uh, if you want to see some more sovereignty as well as just other strategy games. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and drop some guys here. So as you can see, this army is massive now, and at, we're definitely going to be attacking next turn. Uh, but I want to wait a turn, because if not, these units will be forced to stay here, and that's not going to help us in the slightest. So let's go ahead, we'll end the turn here, and I'm going stri straight into Dry Sledge more than likely. In fact, I'll take a look at... Uh, the land here in Dry Sledge. I'm actually curious. Mutual defense for the Iron Barony. These, I, I don't know what to say. I wish I could look at the chat. This is one reason I really wish I had a double screen because I want to get your advice, guys. Um, should I accept mutual defense from the Iron Barony? Ugh. No, I don't think so. Maybe, maybe this is not a great trade to reject, but I just think I'm better than that. Um, so let's go ahead, guys. We're going to start our attack against Crag and Waste. And we are going to invade. It looks like this army is really nothing. So I'll go ahead and auto this one. Um, because it's just ridiculously small. Go ahead and auto it once again. Imagine if I retreated accidentally. I was nearly about to do it. I won't lie. Okay, there we go, guys. That is obviously a victory. The province is now occupied. And for those of you that are new to sovereignty, the way this works is I need to remain in this province for another two turns before I take it. This represents the economic value of the province, which is two. Uh, but we're probably not going to be waiting here very long. Uh, the next chance I get, I'm going to be charging into the enemy. Uh, so keep that in mind. Now, for these guys, I really do want to attack this army. Um, and I think we probably should. I'm just afraid because we don't have a general, and if things don't go well, it's going to be a nasty battle. So let's go ahead. Um, another thing is, if we attack with this army, we lose our fire guards as well as our old Betty. So I think I'm going to actually keep this guy here. Um, let's go ahead and end our turn. If he attacks us, that's one thing, but as far as attacking him, I don't think that's going to happen. Um, but we'll try to destroy all of their armies in the field that we can. 
Whoa, Broken Horror! Oh no! Oh wow, okay, so Broken Horror has def uh, declared war against us. This is not good. Um, it's probably time, and there we go, a hero rallies to our banner, guys. All units have minus one discipline for the remainder of this battle. Your opponent skips his next turn. This essentially gives us uh, two turns, which is pretty awesome, I'm not going to lie. Um, and I think to deal with Broken Her, we're going to have to send this army over. Um, as you can see, Broken Her is over here on the left, a bunch of dwarves that... Don't know what's good for them, but we're going to teach them. Don't worry. Um, and let's go ahead and get this army. We're very close to actually taking Dry Sledge, but I think I want to keep moving and uh, crash into this army right here. So I'm going to go into Kragen Waste. Uh, yes, I do want to attack Hollow Hill. And wow, actually, Kragen Waste has a little tiny army here uh, defending. We will definitely go ahead for the tactical battle um, and see how we do. So we are in the deploy stage. Um, generally, when I deploy orcs, if I have trolls or something like that, rock trolls, I like to put them here in the front. And then I take the battle orcs, uh, put them on the sides of the rock trolls. And behind that, I've got my blood orcs as well as my javelin ears. I'm sad to say that orc javelin ears really are pretty good pretty terrible um i almost want to say they're better in close combat than they are at throwing javelins uh which just kind of makes sense i guess so let's go ahead guys we're gonna end the turn i think things are set up just fine this should be a pretty simple battle uh our first foray into these lands uh and we're certainly going to turn these humans into slaves either that or food one or the other uh whichever Whichever makes more sense at the time. So we're going to go ahead and continue here. Um, great orc masses. And as you can see here, uh, the enemy unit actually got some supporting fire here uh, from the crossbowman unit close by. So it's not that huge of a deal, but it's certainly something to keep in mind. Um, and I don't actually want to waste the health of our blood orcs. So I'm almost more willing to attack with our Zerak battle orcs than I am with the blood orcs. Uh, if I still can get in there, I will. And let's see how hard they can hit. 45 to 30 to 55 melee damage. Oh, I love the Blood Orcs. They're just amazing. And you could just tell, like, by the portrait here. Look at that. A guy's hold he's holding a human head in his hand. He he's a Blood Orc. <laughs> he doesn't piss around. So let's go ahead. Um, we're going to continue as well with these Blood Orcs. Uh, move up here. And essentially just keep moving into these territories. Um, if we can totally annihilate these guys, I'm going to feel a lot happier. And I'm actually kind of annoyed that Brogan Her came to Crag and Waste Defense because typically Brogan Her, uh, at least in my experience playing as Kazoff, they never ever come to their defense. Never. So I'm, I'm kind of annoyed. Um, let's get our javelin ears up. Throw some javelins at these guys here. And look how quickly uh, the levies here are to run. These these toll guards are not exactly the greatest fighters, and they know it. Uh, let's go ahead and move up again. And we'll move these men up. Just keep hitting them for damage. Uh, you know, eventually, even if we don't beat you through sheer strength, we'll beat you in numbers. So these guys have to be very careful. Let's go ahead and end our turn. Yes, siege units may shatter. I'm just going to leave the tips up. If those of you that are, you know, kind of new to the game can quickly read... Uh, and obviously, shield wall, I guess I should just explain this to everybody. Um, if you have your units basically compact next to each other, they're adjacent to one another in a sort of string, you will get a defensive bonus. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what the formula is, but I generally just keep my men very close together, and I get that defensive bonus. Uh, let's go ahead and accept that. And we're going to soon be moving in here to the enemy city. Uh, I think I'll attack from the mountains. It's a perfect place to attack as an orc, I think. So there we go. The enemy's uncertain. Don't know what they're uncertain about. They're going to die. We're going to kill them. There's nothing to be uncertain about here. Uh, your death is assured. Let's go ahead and continue here. More fire support for the crossbow men. Uh, that's to be expected, to be honest with you. So we'll go ahead and try to just basically charge into these guys here. Uh, just keep moving these Zerg battle orcs up. And at this point... As you can see, one of the problems with Orc Javelins, they can only attack once per turn, and in fact, or once every two turns, and in fact, they may only be able to attack once a battle. Um, I don't think that's the case, but it might be. Uh, we'll soon find out, unless we manage to defeat these guys much quicker than that. Um, and as you can see, I'm more worried of anything on this battle. I'm more worried about the Siege Equipment. That's what really concerns me. Uh, siege Equipment can do a lot of damage, even to my characters. This Ballista, I've seen it do a lot of damage, and I don't want to lose a character just because of sort of reckless playing, ignoring this this unit here. Let's also go ahead, I'll show off the close combat value of my Orc Javelins. And as you can see, look at that. We're actually going to deal more damage to the enemy than they're going to deal to us. And we're a Javelin unit. So I typically use those Orc Javelins as sort of melee troops, to be honest with you. Well, let's keep moving forward here. Alright, another attack. 
Boom. I think we're just going to try to slam into these guys on the side. Let's move up. Uh, move these men up as well. And just basically slowly pushing our war party to the capital itself, which is quite close. And yeah, we'll end. Okay, here we go. Now we have to just probably finish these guys off. Um, I would jump behind this ballista and take the city, but we can just go ahead and finish this guy off this turn. Uh, and there we go. We crush the unit. Uh, we take no prisoners, so just those ballista men, kill them. All. No slaves this time. Just slaughter them all. Um, and we'll go ahead and continue this way. Sort of send these guys around the mountains uh, to try to flank the enemy. And as you can see... Um, we're going to do way more melee damage than the enemy does. He's uncertain. I'm going to extend his uncertainty by attacking him with these blood orcs. And he's going to kill four of my blood orcs to 44 of his own men. That's that's just sad. Uh, let's go ahead and try to finish him off with some skirmishers. Make it real fun. <laughs> oh, you can't even stand up to orc skirmishers. These poor humans. That's all right. We're going to continue here. Um, and let's go ahead and slam into these toll... Actually... I think we want to take out the crossbowmen first. Uh, they're they're more of a problem than the toll guards. Uh, I almost feel bad about them, but uh, you know I have no empathy because I'm an orc, so I don't. I can't feel bad for them. Here we go. Battle objectives. Um, yes, we know all about this, guys. Basically, so when you take a city, uh, it certainly increases your chances of victory. Um, it sometimes increases your defense or your attack bonus. It, it does depend on the city. Um, so this is something very important in the game. Uh, of course, as orcs, we generally destroy the enemy army before any cities are taken. So, that's something to consider. Alright, let's see. Okay, alright. Um, let's move this guy in. Finish this guy off. We're pretty much about to wrap this up uh, in terms of this battle. I, I don't see what the enemy can do to get out of this. Uh, the only thing that could happen is Brogan Hur could come to their rescue. And since we haven't had too much time to really... Uh, Build our armies up; they could be a problem. Uh, but I'm not. I'm not afraid of dwarves, much less humans. Uh, so we'll we'll get into it if we have to. Let's go ahead. That enemy's broken. Uh, at this point, I think the enemy should just flee. But if they, they want to be stubborn, we'll allow them to die honorably or dishonorably, depending on how you look at it. Uh, and there you go. That's a huge defensive bonus there. But it makes no difference because, as you can see, we'll actually let the blood orcs get the kill here. And there we go, guys. Kazoth captures Hollow Hill from Crag and Waste. Um, and at that point, we are here in Crag and Waste. I love that little victory tune. Although I wish there was a more orcish victory tune, to be honest with you. Uh, nonetheless, we'll, we'll accept that. Um, and I do want to almost move back to Dry Sledge um, over here to start taking it. But really, what we need to focus on is the enemies in Broken Her. So I want to keep that in mind. Um, and over here, I'm just going to take a quick look at the orcish magic. I have to admit, I have not yet looked at the orc spell tree. I don't even know if it's worth using. Uh, let's see, Force March resets all move points in an army. That's pretty awesome. Um, grants any infantry unit the berserker ability and plus one attack. It's also pretty cool. Target enemy unit attacks. It destroys itself in the process. Target only enemy standard units. Okay. Um, I like the spell tree for the orcs, but like I said, it's early in the game. I'm not going to be focusing really on spells for now. Um, what I'm basically going to be focusing on is just conquering the rest of this territory. Uh, so let's go ahead and end the turn. Let's see if the enemy wants a piece of us. Will they actually come into our land and challenge us? I don't think so. Um, but we'll see. I mean, so far I don't see any armies from Broganher around. That's a good thing. Oh boy! Alright, so there's a little, uh, attack here at Kragen Waste by, um... Sonanave, who apparently has joined the war now. I mean, we've got everybody attacking us. Uh, we've got to crush them. Uh, so there we go. We'll accept that. Fair enough. Okay, we've annexed our first province, guys. That's awesome. Um, so as you guys can see... Oh, wow. A leader with the potential for greatness has arisen in Mardoba. Under the influence of this new leader, Mardoba's economy is flourishing and their military power has grown. Okay, well, we're not too concerned about Mardoba. And actually, I hate to say this, but since the Iron Barony... Um, since I'm at war with Brogan Her, Sonave, as well as Kraken Waste, I'm going to accept mutual defense from the Iron Barony. So, I, I don't usually do this, but I'm going to accept it. Uh, let's see. Corvalad wants, th wants to give me three gems for two iron. No, I, I'll try a counter offer. Um, just see if he has any stone. I don't think he does. Nah, you've got nothing I want, bud. Sorry. We'll go ahead and clear the table. It's just nothing. Um, 
It just kill whoever that trader was, chop his head off. I didn't like his offer, so kill him. That's how orcs operate. If we don't like your offer in an economic bargain, we would just kill you instantly. Um, so as you can see here, guys, Hollow Hill's looking great. Um, I'm going to go ahead and increase the economy of this province um, and basically make it so it'll be a little harder for the enemy to take back. And as you can see, we're already growing quite well. So this is awesome. Uh, now, I'm going to grab this army, and I'm going to move into this area of course, and attack Crow's Rest, and oh boy, we've got a nasty enemy army here, although it's made up of a lot of troll guards, uh, or troll guards, excuse me, um, and let's go ahead and get into a tactical fight, uh, they've also got some interesting units here, I think this is the Night's Watch units, uh, and if you, any of you make any Game of Thrones jokes, I'm so glad I can't read that check, because I, I will come and kill you myself! No, no, don't make any Game of Thrones jokes. We're going to go ahead, uh, let's go for the tactical, guys, tactical battle. Um, and in this case, I'm going to be a little more careful because uh, this army, although it looks like it's full of just, you know, those toll guards, those Night Watch units are very powerful. I mean, I don't even like to face them with orcs. They're nasty. Uh, so let's go ahead and... Uh I don't even think we used our battle mage last turn or last battle. We will definitely use it this battle against uh, the Night's Watch unit, and let's let the enemy go ahead and get started here. Okay. All right. Our horde is ready for war. Um, and I think first thing I'm going to do is get rid of this unit that's just stupidly standing here in the middle of nowhere. Um, he seems to really want to die. So we will we'll try to uh, acclimate his request. Um, let's go ahead and charge again and I will keep breaking through now I'm worried here because this looks like there's probably a defensive bonus here um, since these guys are so close together and there is we can tell because the melee casualties are actually so even and as you guys know our ba battle orcs are far superior to toll guards um, but we're gonna go ahead and attack anyway um, and try to just basically break the enemy quickly before they have a time to regroup and get all those units in a nice you know, even formation. I, I really don't want them doing that. And we know their two Night's Watch units are here, so we have to keep our eyes on those. Let's see. Okay, uh, bring these Battle Orcs over here. Or, excuse me, Blood Orcs. And we could probably finish off that unit entirely. So there we go. They're gone. Um, and we'll try to bring up the rest of our melee as well. Let's see. What to do over here? Hmm. Actually, we will lose a lot of men on that attack, which kind of surprises me. We're going to have to actually go for some losses, guys. I must say, uh, in this area here, it looks like the Toll Guards are really not happy that Orcs are attacking their land. And they're putting up a fair fight. Now, by fair fight, I mean they're just barely putting up a fight. But uh, for human standards, I'd say that's pretty good. Uh, I respect them slightly more than the other humans. When I kill them, I won't mount their heads up upon spears in typical Orc fashion if I can help it. Let's go ahead and continue anyway. Um, and in this case... Let's grab, yes, beautiful, um, this skirmisher unit is not fired yet, um, and we will end our turn once again. Alright, we've got a beautiful defensive bonus there, so the enemy is probably not going to want to charge into that. Um, of course, I could be wrong, uh, you never know. Uh, let's go ahead and see. Okay, they're, wow, very smart. So the enemies actually moved back to get their defensive bonus. I don't like that one bit. In fact, I'm a little annoyed. Um, but you know what we're going to do? We're going to take our Battle Mage unit, and I'm going to strike right away at his Night Watch. Um, and as you can see, this Night Watch unit has a garrison ability as well as a shield wall ability. Uh, it's a very, very strong unit in defense um, and in attack. So I'm going to go ahead and get my Blood Orcs on the, on the case here. And even the Night Watch can't stand up to my Blood Orcs. They're putting up a good fight, but it's not good enough. Uh, and let's go ahead and see if we can finish them off pretty soon here. Alright, doesn't look like we're going to be able to finish them this turn. But we can certainly start working on the rest of the army here. And one thing I'm going to do is take this city. Yes, this city is Orc now! Um, I wonder, what do you guys think Orcs would do if they took a city full of people? Would, the, would anybody survive? Uh, I'm not sure. I guess everybody would just become a food source. That's kind of scary to think about. Let's go ahead and move these orcs. So not only are we attacking here, we're also going to create a defensive bonus once these guys stack up, uh, which should help us quite a lot. But uh, the fighting's actually quite even, I must say. Didn't expect the toll guards to put up this much of a fight. So let's go ahead and get this guy up. There we go. We've broken their defenses a little bit. And now we can move uh, our Zeric battle orcs here and really do a lot of damage. Um, I actually should have attacked the Knight's Watch, Ugh, but I wasn't paying attention. Uh, nonetheless, let's continue our fight. Okay, here we go. So as you can see here, I am definitely 
not using the best attack technique in the sense that um, it's actually a little risky to be fighting these guys right now because they have pretty good defensive bonuses, but... Uh, you know, my whole thing with orcs is we can buy more Zerg Battle Orcs later. Our whole point right now is just to do as much damage as possible, as quickly as possible. It doesn't matter if we lose a few of our own men. That's just par for the course. So let's keep that in mind. Um, and that's why I might go ahead and hit this guy anyway. He's in a city. Take a little bit of a hit myself. Now here I wouldn't because we would only kill four to seven of his men. But here, for instance, we're going to take a larger hit, but I'll still attack these men. And once we beat the guys here, we can go ahead, swing back up, and hopefully flank the rest. So let's go ahead and end the turn. And once again, a beautiful defensive bonus for our own men. I loved the way the horde works. It's just if you keep these guys together, they will always be able to defend um, against just about anything. And the enemy's doing the exact same thing here, as you can see. They're trying to form this shield wall. They are desperately trying to get away from my men. I can't blame them there. Um, and let's go ahead. We'll just try to finish these guys off entirely. Boom. Okay, we've got one unit gone. Uh, and I'd really like to get this... N this uh, Night's Watch unit, but we're not going to be able to yet. Let's move into the city here. Uh, the Sort of the capital of this particular province. And let's see if we can finish off another unit of enemy troops. Boom. There we go, guys. Another unit down. Uh, and these Kragen Wasters, I don't know who the hell they think they are, but... We've got this. I'm pretty sure we've got this. Um, okay, they did get a little defensive bonus there. In fact, I think I just helped them a little bit. Uh, but watch it. Look at this. They're not even going to be able to do any melee damage to our Blood Orcs. Our Blood Orcs just run in to their camp while they're asleep, slaughter them all in their sleep, and they don't even have a chance to fight back. Beautiful. Um, let's go ahead and try to crush these guys too. And one of the reasons I really want to crush this unit is if we do, I think we break their shield wall. Um, at least we split it over here on the left side. Of course, this they're putting up a damn good fight. I'm amazed they didn't run there. That's, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and start hitting them. As you can see now, they're not nearly as strong as they were before uh, when they were in the city. They, they don't get that defensive bonus, uh, and that makes our job a lot easier. Oh, it's a nice little fight there. All right, let's keep going. Boom! And there we go. Another unit shattered, guys. We are just just working on these guys like nobody's business. Um, and I really am a little worried because I'm not even sure if we've gotten to their main army yet. Uh, unless this is the main army. This one certainly looked like it had a lot of men in it. But now that we're fighting them, we seem to be able to hold our ground pretty well. Right, let's go ahead. Uh, end the turn. No. Yeah. I think it's about time to end the turn. Still getting that great defensive bonus there, and the enemy is still going to keep retreating like the cowards they are. Oh, humans. Well, I guess that's what I would do if I was a human versus a horde of hundreds of thousands of orcs. I probably would retreat myself. Um, and I'm guessing the number would be more like tens of thousands, but, you know, this is sovereignty, so uh, obviously it really depends. It depends. Um, so let's go ahead here. All right, what do we do? What do we do? Uh... I think I want to run in and try to finish these guys off with just a regular unit of Zarek Battle Orcs. Uh, let's go ahead, crush them. And now, as you can see, this unit won't get the defensive bonus. So we're going to have a lot of fun uh, just slaughtering them. But I think I want to actually run and chase the Night's Watch unit first. Um, and it does look like right now I'm actually doing more casualties to the Night's Watch unit than they are doing to me, which is a great sign. Let's move these guys in. Move our Blood Orcs in. And move our other unit of Blood Orcs in. And at this point, it's really just a mopping up operation. These humans know they're screwed. We know they're screwed, and we know that uh, we'll be dining on human flesh tonight for sure. Uh, it's almost certain. It's just, you know, the, the amount. The, the issue now is trying not to lose many men in our armies. Uh, because if we have another battle, I don't want to have weakened units. Uh, but besides that, you know, we've pretty much got this. Let's go ahead. And look at that. The Night's Watch can't even put up a good fight. They can only kill two Zerok Battle Orcs uh, before falling back. So I'm pretty confident we've got this in the bag. Of course, we still have to deal with th three other countries. Or sorry, two other countries that don't want, don't like us and want to kill us. So this is going to be a problem. Um, let's go ahead and grab this guy. Um, suppose we should attack. We're going to lose more men than him, but I think the attack is worth it, and we'll go ahead and keep pushing forward here. And of course, the mighty, bloody red hand of Kazoth above the city is just an awesome, awesome vision. Uh, what's this? What is that? It's a fort. Uh, okay, that's new for me. Um, that's I thought that was like some sort of fiery behemoth, but wow, all right. Well, we'll accept it. So let's go ahead and end the turn um, and see what the enemy's going to do here. And at this point, you can see... 
were so crowded around these guys, um, all they could do is move back. All they can do is retreat. It, this is just just basically. Uh, all, I, I almost wish I could auto resolve this part because it's that it's that boring to me. Um, let's go ahead and crush those guys. They're finished. Um, Although, we got to keep this in mind, we do still have a unit of Night's Watch here. Uh, I'm going to first of all do my best to take out uh, this unit, and I was right. Unfortunately, the Orc Javelineers only get to throw their Javelins one single time every turn. I mean, that's... or one single time every battle, I should say. Like, that's that's pretty ridiculous. Uh, let's go ahead and move forward here. Thankfully, they do okay in melee. They're not great, but they'll get the job done. Um, and let's go ahead, grab these Zerik Battle Orcs. Uh, and see what we could do to the Night's Watch. Oh, man! Holy crap! This is why I hate the Night's Watch units. They actually make my Zerg Battle Orcs afraid. So, I don't like that one bit, but I guess there's not really much we can do there. Uh, once we finish off the Night's Watch, we're definitely going to be a lot safer. Um, Alright, let's see. And if you give me just a moment, uh, friends, I'm going to go ahead and take... Uh, five second break literally to close my window because the kitties are getting out of school and it's totally ruining my concentration so give me one moment Apologies there, guys. We have returned, um, and here to finish off the battle with the Kazoth Battle Orcs, of course. Um, let's try to get these Javelin Ears up, because some of these guys have not yet fired, uh, so I wouldn't mind trying to get them up for one last throw before the battle ends. Well, let's see, let's see. Wow. That's just looking so nice. I, I love the Orcs. It's just looking so, like, dangerous. Just this line... A uh, deep, deep line of orcs. Um, and let's see. The Night's Watch will probably be able to kill off, uh, maybe even kill off one of our Blood Orcs units. Uh, I would hate that to happen, but they may be able to do that. Um, and it looks like they're stacking around this city for protection. Hmm. I don't like your game, man. Let's go and try to finish off that Toll Guards unit. Now, sadly, this Blood Orc uh, unit got pretty badly damaged against the uh, Night Watch. So I'd rather not lose them this turn, and hopefully they can sort of regain those those uh, reinforcements throughout the campaign. All right, let's see. Move up. I'm going to go for these guys to try to sort of mess up their lines. Like I said before, I always like screwing with the enemy's lines. Uh, so let's go ahead, attack again. They are shaken. That's a good start. That's definitely a good start. Um, and let's go ahead and consider attacking these guys. Oh, I don't mind taking a hit with the, the Javelin Ears, to be honest. I, I, to me, they're expendable. Uh, they, can, they can just get killed for all I care. So I'm not all that upset. Um, there we go. That's the kind of attack I like. 30 of the enemy down. Um, and this battle, this army is definitely going to have to rest after this battle. Um, we can't just keep attacking with these guys. or They're just not going to have anything left in them. I mean, we, we may be orcs, but you know, we also have to sleep. We also have to uh, take a break every now and again. Let's go ahead and keep moving. Almighty Kazoth shall rule the land if we can just finish this battle. Let's go ahead and end our turn. All right. Beautiful. Wow. What happened there? Okay. Um, that just, that happened like mid-turn, I guess. The unit just auto-attacked. I, I can't explain it. But um, the enemy, intelligently enough, did put, you could see right here, their Night's Watch unit right into the city, which this is a really good idea, um, I must say. So we're going to go ahead and try to... Uh, try to get him kicked out here. And no matter what we do, I, I won't lie to you, it's it's going to be ugly. Um, so I think first we'll actually use our Blood Orcs to get these guys out of here. Um, get these Toll Guards out of this area so that they can't provide any defensive bonuses to the Night's Watch. Um, we'll also bring in these guys. Oh boy, Toll Guards actually fought the back. And we'll try to close in the Night's Watch into this city. Uh, that would be the best idea here. Let's see, can we get this guy out of the way? And here we go, we're going to attack, and at this point we're actually doing quite a lot of damage to the Night's Watch. Um, just with our Zeric Battle Orcs, which means that without that defensive bonus, they're not going to be able to fight off this many Orcs. Look at that, they can only kill two! Two Zeric Battle Orcs, that's just pathetic. 
Um, and of course, I'm not going to attack with these units for now. We'll just keep attacking with our Zerg Battle Orcs. Uh, try to split these guys in half. And we may be able to get our revenge here with our Blood Orcs and kill the Night's Watch. Wouldn't that be awesome? Yes! The Blood Orcs got their revenge um, after being decimated by the Night's Watch earlier in the game. And now we'll go into the city and just absolutely burn and slaughter everything in our path. Um, unless it's shiny or tasty, in which case we'll keep it. Um, or looks good, any of those things. Let's go ahead and charge in here. Um, I already knew that was going to be a nice attack there, so at this point we're really just uh, slaughtering the prisoners. Uh, and we are Kazoth Orcs, so we take no prisoners. That's just silly. Prisoners are for silly people. Um, let's go ahead and end our turn. Alright, it looks like that um, fort is actually firing at us, so that's not something I like. All right, beautiful. Um, here we go. There's Zeric Battle Orcs. Um, and at this point, I'm going to... Or, excuse me, our Blood Orcs. Uh, run right over here. And, of course, we're gonna, just going to go ahead and finish these guys off. This is pretty much over. Uh, I'll go ahead and get this guy, too. Oh, wow. Nice job. Uh, I didn't expect him to kill him that turn, but he did. Great job. Get these guys up. There we go, guys. Kazoth captures Crow's Rest from Crag and Waste. We have absolutely done um, a really, really good job here uh, against Crag and Waste. And as you can see, uh, you have occupied an enemy capital. If you annex this province, you will destroy the realm. However, you will simultaneously suffer grievous diplomatic damage, particularly among civilized realms who uphold that war is honorable, but wars of annihilation are dishonorable. Um, so usually, and what I do often in this game, um, and I'm hoping I can do it this turn, because it looks like the area here is quite well, uh, it's about to fall, essentially. Um, but I usually leave the enemy capital alive, and I start worrying about other parts of the enemy, um, you know, primarily their cities, stuff like that. I, I leave their capital alive most of the time. Of course, in this case, Crag and Waste um, has grown, actually. It didn't used to be this big. I don't know if they pushed down here, unless I just forgot that they had this area, but uh, it does seem like Crag and Waste is a bit formidable right now, so I'm going to be careful, and I'm going to hold on to their capital just for safekeeping, uh, just as a way of saying, we're just going to be here in case we need to destroy you utterly and just annihilate you. Another thing is, it looks like there is an army of Crag and Waste here. I'm going to go ahead and attack. Um, and try to waste them, and we'll definitely go into battle for this, because actually, even though this is a tiny um, enemy army, you can see here they've got some pretty awesome units, uh, particularly some ogre slaves, and how dare they take our slave, our ogres as slaves. That's just not acceptable. Well, we're definitely going to want to go for a tactical battle here, um, and I don't think we should have any difficulty at all. Um, we do have this Taskmaster unit, which basically what it does is it lowers discipline for our men, but it gives us one extra turn. Makes the enemy skip his next turn, which I must say is a pretty awesome ability there. Um, so let's go ahead. We're going to end the turn. Um, and actually, I should have done better there. I would have put the uh, basically the rock trolls in front here of the goblin slaves, but that's all right. We can, we can fix that later. So let's go ahead. Um, it's our siege equipment. There's not really much I can do with it this turn. But let's go ahead and get into battle with these Ogre Slaves. Um, and obviously, they would much rather fight for us, I'm sure. Um, let's take this capital city. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Um, let's grab the Orcs here. And we're just going to continue to move forward. What else can we do? Um, I don't want to attack him yet. I, I'm, I, see, I see what you guys are talking about. I see that there's like a... There's some sort of uh, defensive bonus since this guy's on a hill, and we're going to lose guys no matter what, so we might as well just get it over with. Let's go ahead and hit them. Boom. Oh, this is going to be nasty. Um, and at least we're making them uncertain. We may be able to break him this turn. That would be perfect. I'm actually really surprised at how much damage we could do to these uh, trolls. Um, I expected them to be a lot more resilient, especially since they're on a sort of hilltop here. Let's move our hill shamans up as well. Um, and we'll move our suicide bombers. This is probably, in my opinion, next to the orc, uh, the blood orcs, which I love. This is just, in my opinion, the funniest unit in the game, um, and very, very useful. I mean, if, especially if you're using it against enemy fortifications, or, excuse me, um, or enemy units, I mean, it will just annihilate a unit. And, of course, it blows up on its own, but, uh, it, it kills a lot of things in the process. So I see, I think it's a great thing. <laughs> I think it's, I can't believe I'm accepting suicide bombing as a valid war method here. Um, but we are orcs. You know, we don't give a damn about, you know, 
war, methods of war, correct methods of war. We just slaughter. It's just that simple. I have sword, you have club, we fight until one die. Like, that's basically orc logic, um, which I think is great. Perfect logic in my eyes. Um, let's go ahead and take a look here, just making sure that the enemy doesn't have any hidden units. Um, and I don't think they do, but I am a little uh, perturbed at the fact that they've got some pretty strong units in this army. Um, should we go ahead and use our Taskmaster? Hmm. I think so. I think so. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to use the Taskmaster. We'll lose the Discipline bonus. We'll end the turn. And as you can see, it's our turn. The enemy has no turn. Um, they don't even get the chance to move their units, which is awesome. So let's go ahead here. Um... And I can only attack next turn, I believe. Um, and I'll probably try to go for the Bounty Hunter unit. Uh, let's go ahead and just keep attacking this poor Ogre Slave. And I, I feel bad for this guy. I also feel bad for the men attacking him, because it's not easy attacking an Ogre Slave. Um, but we really need to get this guy off the field in quick, because he, he's going to be tough. So here we go. We're doing a lot of range damage. It looks like we've broken him. Um, we should be able to pretty much finish him off. And I hate to kill... Uh, an ogre. Not necessarily an orc, of course. Ogres are not orcs, but they do work closely alongside with orcs. Um, you know, they generally form the crux of the Ksothian army. They really form, like, the main um, body of attack, and these Zeric battle orcs, they're kind of just, you know, accompanying troops. But we need rocks, and that's why we're attacking these guys in the first place. We need stone to get those orcs, uh, to get those trolls, I should say. Um, and that's, that's what we're attempting to do here. So that's why we started this war. Um, we had to do it. Let's go ahead, get some range damage there, that's pretty awesome. We may be able to finish them off just with pure range damage. Um, and let's move these guys up. We've also got these goblin slaves. Uh, goblins are much more common in the Iron Barony. We don't really care about them in Kazoth, and, uh, in fact, Kazothians generally, as far as goblins go, I mean... We hate them just as much as we hate humans, <laughs> or any other race besides orc for that matter. I mean, we don't even like other orcs. This is how, you know, conservative and strong we are in our in our orc beliefs. So let's go ahead and end our turn here. Okay, let's see. Hmm... I don't even know what these, uh, oh, these Mogan Mine Layers, I think I can assume what they do by their name. I, th I think I can make a pretty fair assumption here. Um, and actually, oh, I'm so glad that there's an undo, so glad there's an undo button. Um, let's go ahead. All right, this is good. So we can hit these Mine Layers, hopefully, with, with our melee units, or our, I should say our skirmisher units, um, and, and sort of defeat them. I hope. I'm, I'm just guessing, of course. Let's go ahead and move up. And there we go. We've crushed that unit. Now we just have to deal with the bounty hunters. Um, which, by the way, really cool portrait. If you guys take a look there, it kind of looks like Robin Hood kneeling down, uh, ready to strike. So I think that's that's awesome. But it's not going to be awesome for long. It's just going to be on the bottom of a troll's foot, as you can see here. Ho, 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 40. 40. I mean, I didn't expect to do that much damage, but damn. Um, so let's go ahead. We'll keep attacking. And obviously the bounty hunters are not very happy right now. Let's go ahead and move up more, move up more. Get the shaman up. He has, has he struck yet? I don't think so. I think he's fired possibly once. Um, and I don't really see what we can do with our siege equipment. This is one part of the game where I really don't have much experience um, as far as the siege towers. I don't really use them much. Uh, so, you know, we'll, we'll kind of see what it does. But uh, don't expect me to, to be moving it around the entire game here. All right, let's go ahead and end the turn. All right, so actually, wow, they managed to get some of our units shaken. That's that's not cool. Um, let's see. All right, this should be pretty easy here. Uh, we basically just have to kill the rest of these mine layers, as well as that bounty hunter unit. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give the glory to these Eric battle orcs. Oh! Oh, I'm such a fool. I thought I was... 
looking at the damage. De oh my goodness. All right, we just lost some Zerg uh, Battle Orcs due to a grip of stupidity there. Uh, my apologies. Um, we'll try. I'll try to make it up to you by just killing off that Bounty Hunter unit. There we go. Beautiful. Um, and now we're just going to slaughter these Mine Layers without mercy. Um, and they actually seem to have a pretty good pretty good defense uh, for just Mine Layers. I expected, like, really weak, you know, kind of, like, scrawny guys that lay mines, but these guys are... They're not bad, I've got to say. Um, let's go ahead for the melee attack. Wow, beautiful. So even the Javelineers at this point are doing a lot of damage. Um, and the range damage on these guys is ridiculous. Uh, we, um, we're against this particular unit, because most of the time when I throw uh, spears or javelins with these orcs, I don't do any damage. Uh, the only time I do damage is when I'm up close and personal with the enemy. So that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and move. So sorry we had to kill those poor trolls. It's the one thing I felt bad about this entire Let's Play. It's just poor little trolls. I feel bad. I almost want to cry, but I'm an orc and we have no tear ducts, so it, it just doesn't work. But anyway, let's go ahead and end here and see what the enemy's going to do. Wow, Trafficker. Choose one mercenary unit. That unit retreats from battle. Um, I guess we got another hero. That's pretty interesting. Oh, the enemy used it. Oh, yes, the enemy used it. This makes sense. Fair enough. All right, here we go, guys. Uh, it's now our turn. Um, and it looks like they're they're begging to be killed at this point. They've actually moved closer to us. Um, I think we can go ahead and crush them. And sure enough, that's exactly what we've done. Drop down here. And let's also grab these. Yeah, maybe we'll grab them later. Uh, there we go, guys. Gazoth captures Ashira from Kragan Waste. Um, we did sadly lose a nice little unit here of Zurich Battle Orcs, but, you know, 5 to 1. I'll take that any day. Um, and at this point. We really just need to look out for our best interests. We know that the dwarves over here um, are obviously getting ready to attack us. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can purchase any units. Um, okay, awesome. Awesome. Wow, I didn't know. Um, we've actually got some units ready here, um, our, our Blood Orcs. So I want to take a look at this army. I think this army could use some Blood Orcs. So let's drop some in here. Um, one, two. Let's take a look. Oh, that's awesome. And what's in here? All right, so this is our home army. I'm probably going to start making three armies here. Uh, let's go ahead and start buying some Zarek Battle Orcs here. And this way we can we can have a defensive army as well as two offensive armies uh, to go ahead and crush the enemy. And just look at that. We could get so many uh, Blood Orcs or Battle Orcs uh, for a very little price. For a very low cost, I should say. Um, and it's definitely worth the price. Let's go ahead and take a look here. All right, nothing we can do this turn. We'll end the turn. Let the enemy go. Trouble is bringing Hollow Hill. Oh, dear. All right. The, the reason this is happening is because we're currently in the capital. And <laughs> oh, the tr oh, this is funny. This is really funny. So Kraken Waste wants peace. Um, you know, I'm actually tempted to kind of take it. It's so pathetic. But um, I'm not going to do that. We're going to keep attacking. Um, and anyway, guys, we are getting very close here to the end of the stream. So I hope you guys have enjoyed so far. Um, if you guys would like to check my channel out, make sure to take a look at Agrippa Maxenius on YouTube. That's A-G-R-I-P-P-A space M-A-X-E-N-T-I-U-S. Uh, also make sure to take a look at the Slytherin group uh, forum, etc., or I should say, go to the Slytherin forums, go to the Slytherin YouTube page specifically, and drop a comment on this live stream video. I'd really appreciate it if you enjoyed it. Um, check my channel out. And don't forget that tomorrow, uh, the Slytherin guys will be streaming um, Order of Battle Pacific. Uh, I believe it's going to be Marco and Bart streaming. I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, so probably they'll put some more information up on the actual page itself. I'm not sure what time that stream is taking place. But for you Order of Battle fans, um, definitely want to see you there as well. I will not be hosting that stream. I uh, wish I could, but um, obviously right now I'm sort of focused on sovereignty. Um, and anyway, guys, I really appreciated doing this stream for you guys. I hope you enjoyed fighting and 
in seeing the, the power of the Kazoth orcs. Um, and if we do part two, hopefully we can go ahead and continue with this campaign. Uh, if you guys would like to see me try a new faction entirely in the next uh, stream I do, which will be next Wednesday, uh, then make sure to leave that down below too. That also helps. So anyway, guys, I'd like to just thank you a lot for for swinging by. Uh, make sure to leave any sort of comments you want regarding what I should be doing in this these next few turns. Should I be strengthening the army? Should I be attacking Brogan Her? Uh, should I attack Sonaneb? What should I do, really? Um, and I'm definitely going to reject that peace offer. I'm just refuse to accept a peace offer from puny humans uh but we'll try to accept it so like i said guys if you want to take a look at my channel uh please go to youtube type in a g r i p p a space m a x e n t i u s i have all sorts of strategy up there uh including some sovereignty so i really hope you guys will enjoy and i certainly think you will Thanks so much for stopping uh, by, guys. I really appreciate you being here. Obviously, this is a very new experience for me. I've never done a stream before, uh, but I, I certainly enjoyed my time, and I hope you guys had a good time, too. Take care. Have an awesome, awesome day.